Hi, and welcome to Speed Trap Consulting's review of the GT3251B turbocharger. As usual, when we go through our uh, turbocharger lists, we go through our five points. Engine size application, purpose, power level and characteristic, specifications, and price. Engine size application for this uh, particular turbocharger is pretty much at a broad range. It's going to be from about 1.5 uh, to 2.5 liters in a single turbocharger application or anywhere from 3.5 to a 6 liter uh, application in a twin set. This is mainly used as a small compact turbocharger uh, especially in twin sets uh, for those that want to reach anywhere from about 400 to 650 wheel horsepower as twins and maybe up to about 400 horsepower as a single unit. The purpose of this turbocharger really is to be uh, the all-around universal response monster. Uh, it's made to be able to create uh, a low-end torque with a good broad mid-range and some high-end power as well, uh, but mainly for mid-range and torque uh, for any of these applications. Power level, this uh, turbocharger is about 48 pounds a minute uh, in terms of its airflow capability and about 420 horsepower as a single unit. It's very compact size is to be able to give medium range of power but not exactly the most amount of power that's available. There are other sizes, of course, for that. Let's look at the specifications. Specifications for this particular turbocharger is in a T3, T4, T04B uh, compact package. The reason why this is in this particular package is to be able to make it more universal for uh, most users now that are being able to retrofit turbochargers into uh, engine applications that didn't come with one originally from the factory. The original GT32 uh, came in a similar T04B package, however, the turbine side was in a very odd, strange 6-bolt pattern, 78AR, that was very difficult to be able to integrate with anything unless you had the uh, extra equipment for it. It also came as an internal wastegate actuator. We've retrofitted this one so that it is external. Uh, very few applications nowadays that are retrofitting are using internal applications unless they need to be more compact. Uh, this has been substituted from that same strange 6-bolt turbine housing to a standard T31 4-bolt uh, turbine housing. In addition, uh, the original GT32 came with a Stage 2 uh, exhaust wheel. We decided to change that out to a Stage 3 exhaust wheel to get a little bit more uh, upper end power uh, as well as the mid-range torque. This particular model that we use has uh, been heat treated, as you can tell, uh, with uh, Again, a T31 uh, four-board housing and a 6.3 AR with uh, high treat, uh, high heat coating uh, coats on the uh, uh, turbine side, as well as the brackets, and we use NICs, of course, on the bolts. Uh, on the compressor side, this has also been uh, ceramic coated uh, in our uh, wrinkle black, uh, but this is an option that's used only specifically through speed trap. And of course, there are water lines uh, for this GT series. But unlike the GTR series, uh, these are actually an option, just like in some of the other turbochargers, as opposed to uh, a requirement. These use 3 8 NPT uh, water fittings. And of course, let's look at our price. The price is about medium set for this particular turbo. Uh, these are $680 for the standard turbo unit and about uh, $780 when you add the uh, particular coatings that are, uh, are with this particular unit. Uh, the reason why a lot of people have asked about this particular unit, you know, why does it seem to be that high of a price range? There's two reasons. Uh, one, because of the fact that we've had to retrofit with these other housings to be able to work more effectively with universal turbochargers. Uh, in addition, uh, gear prices are, though they are increasing a bit, are still within a good viable range. One final question that seems to come up with us with this particular turbocharger is what makes this better because of the fact that this is a cast wheel as opposed to the new billet series that we also offer as well as other companies. And the reason behind that is for this particular model and its particular purpose, uh, there's no really need to change over to um, a billet aluminum wheel. The cast wheel's aerodynamics for this one is still a GT series, uh, which makes it a little bit more responsive than your typical 50 57 or 60 T3, uh, T4 uh, standard turbos that are available either through Garrett or from other companies. Uh, and at the same time, uh, it makes this very responsive and repairable. 
so that if something does happen to this particular unit, you can get the GT32 uh, 52 trim wheel and be able to work with this effectively in case there's any kind of damage uh, to the wheel or say the shaft itself. Lastly, uh, for the measurements for this particular compressor wheel, it's a 54 millimeter inducer, uh, 71 millimeter exducer, 52 trim, uh, and technically this goes in a .52 AR, but we've put this in a .50 AR TO4B compressor cover. Now that was a lot to say uh, in terms of this particular turbo. We find that this is a very good response monster, especially for the Honda crowd uh, with, uh, with their LS non BTEC uh, engine setups as well as their B20 engine setups. Uh, those uh, in the Mazda Miata crowd like to be able to use these and the Nissan SR20 uh, drift crowd uh, tend to like these because of its price and its compact size. Uh, the only concern that they have is the fact that uh, this comes in a T3 standard housing uh, as opposed to uh, the T25 housings that a lot of those guys really you know, tend to go for. But we find this is a very effective turbocharger to be able to use for the price. That's the end of our review of the 3251B turbocharger from Speedtrack Consulting. If you have any questions, please, of course, email us at speedtrackconsulting at yahoo.com. And as always, happy boosting. Take care.